Hey guys, it's Tom and I'm here with another monthly update. Now this is the monthly update for May and yeah, I'll get straight on to it. Um, now, thank you guys very much you dedicated subscribers because I've now reached 41 subscribers. Sorry, 43. Um, <laughs> it was at 41 and then it went up to 43 pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, um, I'll take it off the track or maybe move it around and show what's going on. So. I destroyed the mark and I'm working on a new one right now. Um I'll just take it off the tripod. Be easier. But basically I'm working on this new base right now. It's more of a solid base, it's not a mountain base. But I took about I took everything apart, took out all the trees. I'm actually using these parts, they're very convenient for beds and then all these drawers are full of the different pieces but yeah um, so this base is going pretty cool um, so I've just got pieces out so these are for when I'm taking apart the mountain let's move them up so we've got this base um, some 2 by 4 I'm going to get some more 2 by 4 so I can do a whole snot roof because this is actually going to be layers to this base. Now we've got like a dining quarters here. Food area in the back. Um, so yeah, and then there's going to be some control room here. I'm going to try and incorporate those um, um, bionicle things that I found at the Lego store once. Um, but basically it's going pretty cool so these are my custom toilets. There's a mirror and basins, and then the hundra, and then over across bunk beds, and then the ladder going up. And I'm gonna put some stripes on it, pink and purple, when I get another refill. But they are gonna hold clone helmets. Now the cool thing about this base is this little thing here. Ah, too close. Oh, I don't know what to do. There we go. That little thing with the Technic um, plates at the bottom, that's going to be the lift. So it goes down the shaft here. So you're going to have string attached and it goes, it's going to go all the way through the different levels and the floors. Come up to this one here and then it's going to be attached through these. So it's just going to be on a wheel at the bottom that I can twist. This is the top layer of it. So there's going to be this layer. The snot layer, um, elevator still going up through the snot layer. Um, yeah, and then this is the landing pad on top to fit a gunship. Um, and it does actually fit this gunship. <sighs> Fits nicely on there, so that's really cool. Um, and hopefully the base will be steady enough to hold it and won't destroy itself. But yeah, um, I'm taking quite a lot of inspiration from Lego Spencer's Corellia mark for this. But basically I destroyed the forest about a couple of weeks ago. But I still haven't finished on the Grawling Mountain base. So still looking pretty cool with the slopes and the she slopes. Um, but I've just been putting them into these tubs. Um, and the round one by one by Bruce Grittars. But yeah, I am running out of the white plates because they're all there, all underneath there, but I'm replacing them with tan because even though I need tan on the outside, um, they're underneath the grey to hold it up, and then they're underneath all of the grid plates. But I'm gonna. These pieces are going to be coming out for wet with the new mark. Um, but that's just the destruction. Some taking apart wall. See the building techniques in that. Um, but yeah. Um, so I am going to actually be doing a May the 4th special video. And that's going to be these trees. Let's get my light. It's because you can't see very well. So, it's going to be these trees and plants, my custom ones, um, 
I'm just going to be having a showcase of them as the May the 4th special. Um, it's more sorting, 2x4s, windows and slopes, base plates. And then I found all these new bricks, these old bricks. So that's pretty cool. Um, then got all those sets to build where I don't have the space to do it. Um, and just general sorting. Um, and we've got all... I'll move this. This is pretty cool. I've got all this to sort. I've got all that bag full of trans, like this does. And then this is empty now because of I've the 2x4s that I've got left just in the base. Or, but look at that. All the way up to there. It's a huge amount of 2x6 plates. Um, the front wall for it is pretty detailed. I think it looks good. But this base is going to be really cool, I think, and I'm looking forward to building it. Um, oh yeah, and I'm going to build the turbo tank because I'm going to use that in the base. So, yeah. Um, um, look out for that um, weekly... What's, no, what am I doing? Um, look out for that May the 4th special video. I'm also going to be doing a haul. I'm considering whether to get two sets um, so I can get two Darth Revens because they're both over £50. Um, now, uh, um, yeah, and they are the Chic ATAP because the sets are 15% off. Um, so I'm definitely getting the Chic ATAP and I'm considering whether to get the UCS X-Wing um, just for my own sake, I won't be able to build it for ages just because I don't have the space in this room. But when I have my new room, I will have tons of space. But I'm just sorting here, taking apart the mock so I can build a new one. Um, so yeah, um, this next base is going to be really cool. I'm really happy with how it's looking now. But it'll take... It'll be out by, I'm going to say, midway, end of May. Um, depending on how much money I'm getting because there's a possibility that my funding from what I'm doing is going to be stopped. People who know me um, know what, uh, who I've talked to about it may know what I'm on about. But anyway, um, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Um, yet again, thanks for 43 subscribers and about 60 to 70 views on my mock. So... Thank you guys for watching very much. Please like and subscribe.